Hello! In this video, we will demonstrate how to obtain the authentication data for the query information in the Senha Segura DSM. Now that we have an application, an authorization, and a secret, we can consume this data in a couple of ways. In this video, we will demonstrate how to query through the APIs using a request agent. However, from this point on, the process must be adapted for each specific use case. First of all, it will be necessary to have the authentication data from Senha Segura contained in the authorization. To do this, we'll go to the desired application and click on Authorizations. A list with all the authorizations will be displayed. When you find the authorization you want, simply click on View Authorization. and the data will be displayed. For this example, we are using OAuth2. So here we have the client ID and the client secret. More details about other forms of authentication can be found in our documentation. Now that we have the Senha Segura access data in our request agent, we will configure it so that we can get the token needed for API requests. To get the token in our agent, we create a collection for demonstration purposes. That way, all requests can use the same shared mechanism. We will select OAuth2. During configuration, we need to make sure that the grant type used is client credentials. Otherwise, the token request will not work. We also need to inform the endpoint for obtaining the token, which can be found in our documentation, but has the following format. URL of the Senha Segura appliance slash ISO slash OAuth2 Slash token. Finally, we will provide the client ID and the client secrets. Once this is set up, we will run a test to make sure everything is set up correctly. That's it. Now that we have a token for the queries, next we will demonstrate how to get the data from Senha Segura through the API calls. Thank you.